trying out something a little new for me. This is a starry night sky using brushes with a low opacity to build up the features of the scene. To begin, I'm laying out the stars using the spray brush in A-Sprite. I start with a spray width of 16 and a spray speed of 2. I just do individual clicks to lay down some randomized stars. I do a second layer of stars with lower opacity to build up some depth in the star field. I end up copying and pasting the low opacity star layer a few times to thicken the star field. As if that weren't enough stars, I create a duplicate of the low opacity star layer, resize it to one quarter its original size, and copy paste it into each corner of the new layer. Next, I tackle some of the milky bands of stars that might be apparent on a really clear night. I use a brush with an opacity setting of 30 to lay in some cloudiness. I try to create some wispy shapes and build up certain areas more than others to indicate depth. I use a new layer in a sprite for each layer of haze. Sometimes I use the eraser and wand selection tool to carve out pieces of a larger shape rather than trying to put all the detail in when I'm using the pencil tool. On the final layer of milky bands, I use a larger low opacity brush to add some brighter portions. I do this by clicking multiple times to build up opacity as I go. The middle of these little cloudy bits are the brightest, so they get the most clicks. Next, I work on a distant galaxy. I use the first layer that we started on for the hazy bits. I try to imagine the shape of the saw blade if it were squished down a bit. I continue to add more, slightly smaller saw blades to build up the opacity of the center of the galaxy. Finally, I use a larger brush and multiple clicks to build brightness in the center of the galaxy. A night sky needs some bigger stars alongside the small ones. To create the larger stars, I start with a large brush and make it smaller as I click in the same spot. 
The result is a star giving off a glow. I use blue and white for this one. Once I've created one star, I can select it, press Ctrl plus B to create a brush of this star. This is a quick and easy way to fill our canvas with larger stars. We can even change the color of the stars as we go. Some yellow and white stars seem appropriate. I follow the same workflow to create a batch of smaller stars. Here I decide to go back and brighten up the center of the galaxy with some more color. The foreground is going to be a pitch black silhouette of some hills, trees, and bushes against our slightly brighter night sky. All detail will be lost at these light levels so we're only concerned with shape. I would love to see some different takes on the foreground if you give this tutorial a shot. Try not to get too carried away with the details of your silhouette because the viewer's eye is going to be drawn to the beauty in the sky beyond. I decided to bring some more color into the sky and create some red cloudiness similar to the blue Milky Way we created on the left. I'm using the same method as before with the low opacity brushes and layers to build on the saturation. Most skies don't have visible moons or planets on which you can make out any detail, but I like making them so I decided to throw in a few here since we're not really going for realism. 
I start with a large, low opacity brush to create the glow of the planet. Then I make my brush slightly smaller and click until the planet shape is completely saturated. Then I move on to some smaller, still low opacity brushes to add the detail. I suggest looking at sci-fi art for ideas on how planets or moons could look. We're almost done here. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.